Hello, let me cut the noises here and um, well, 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 we have a new animation today that I wanted to share with you. So it's a bit of a, a kind of sweet scene with this lady standing in some weird savanna there with uh, some animals that are just walking and I uh, want to kind of show you a little bit um, behind the scenes, how I did it, uh, kind of, you know, back in the, when I started, I did all these how I did it videos and I'm kind of going back to this idea a little bit of doing something a bit fun and showing you how I did it. And here, this uh, comes from this video I saw the other day, which is old Elon with Peter Diamantis um, talking about this carbon prize, carbon removal. And if you watch the video right at this point, in fact, I'll just play that. The capital and like, I don't know where there's a bunch of life. Um, but, but there's just, there's, you know, in, in order to have a big increase in, uh, in, in tree biomass, we would, ha we would have to irrigate uh, and um, you know, and pro um, provide manure, you know, like, like basically fertilizer and um, it w we'd have to cultivate. Make it ha uh, ha uh, hospitable uh, for the trees to grow. Yes, yeah, so and then you say, okay, well, what's the energy cost of the, of the fertilizer and the getting the fresh water there and... Um, anyway, you can watch it. Uh, it's 52 minutes, 42 seconds, that bit. Uh, and yeah, I I've, I've been thinking about all this stuff um, as I'm sure a lot of architects have, um, you know, for a long time. And so this is a very very quick uh, little take on it. That obviously I need to, uh, you know fancy kind of working um, more on the idea. But this has got some of the ideas. Um, so I'll just kind of show you the scene a little bit. Move around. Let's see if I can make these guys move a little bit. There you go. And it's a, it's all dynamic. These are sort of cable blueprints that I did. So if I just excite them a little bit, uh, or re when I reload the movie, they start moving for a while. Uh, when I reload the scene. So, um, okay. So basically the idea architecturally, because I am an architect by training, uh, is kind of the idea of planting tons and tons of trees. They wouldn't have to be palms. It wouldn't have to be in the desert. Um, and the idea, very simple, is that if we need to carb uh, to c capture large amounts of carbon, rather than dig stuff out of the soil, like clay and burn it to make bricks or concrete, um, basically take carbon out of the soil and put it on, um, transform it using carbon and um, putting it back on, on top of the surface of the planet, what we need to do is use what's already existing, i.e. plants that are taking carbon out of the atmosphere and um, reusing as much as possible in the biomass of that into our cities. Uh, replace effectively the entire stock of, of uh, brick and mortar buildings, or not necessarily replace, but just move from there into places where we can uh, recycle or use basically uh, any kind of fiber or um, or timber that we can use. And in order for that, we basically need to be uh, living back in the forest, uh, which is kind of where we come from. So it sort of makes sense. And so this is just a super, super quick concept. Um, the original uh, idea came from a quick little acquaintance I had with this company, uh, which is called Solar Water PLC, which has got a um, really interesting concept of having these domes that uh, basically desalinate water. So I can let you watch that. And then so we can have these things uh, that uh, basically with the use of the mirrors, um, heat up a surface and uh, distill the water. So it doesn't actually have to be that complicated, but the idea is to bring in tons and tons of seawater inland, um, and that could be done using uh, tidal uh, power. So 
I unfortunately I've got a project for that, but it's in right now corrupt and I can't open it. So it'll be the subject of another video. So, um, so here we're assuming that basically we're in the middle of the desert and we've brought, uh, you know, it's kind of other than sand, I guess it could be some, um, some more thing more fertile, but at the moment is very, very hypothetical. We're bringing through a pipeline and then uh, we have these desalination areas over there and that brings in uh, fresh water enough for all of this stuff to happen and then we can start uh, terraforming and creating um, uh, basically irrigating and so that would need to uh, be a completely different style of habitat and um, a completely sort of new way of living which is ultimately what we're going to have to do um, if we want to remain on this planet as a species uh, we have to um, basically live in complete symbiosis technical technologically with uh, the way the nature works so obviously uh, I'm not a specialist but this is just again it's just an idea so we can grow that and then reuse um, some uh, the timber for the structures and the uh, there's going to be I guess a lot of fibers that produce so a lot of weaving so I'm kind of thinking of other uh, types of buildings other than these things so that's why the fact that the trees are all planted in a grid will allow the development of basically um, any types of dwelling within that um, based on the current structure that we have you know of ownership and things like that also uh, for communication and um circulation so if we need to make this very very big uh, then we can have um you know this grid space grid which is the basis of any city in america and that works really really well and so um and then the population would obviously be living off the 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 land and then um tending the all this um which is what they say in the video these cables were ideas uh, to um, basically use different types of, um, of movement because obviously we won't have any petrol so uh, we could sort of basically use um, um, these cables which would be you know again would have a lot of fiber coming from this so a lot of ropes uh, would be probably possible and then we could have um, transport that way um sort of and glide along so <laughs> and one of the ideas was that the ideal movement for that would be to uh, go as if you're going on a swing so look forward to looking how that would work and then you'd sort of swing your way uh, to your friend's house and then that would leave the ground uh, ideal for basically having a lot of animals so uh these kind of it would be a little bit like in India, I guess, where you have uh, lots of cows roaming around and stuff like that. So that would be um, the idea would be to leave, uh, have a lot of animals and a lot of uh, biodiversity with, you know, obviously fertilizing and bees and insects and uh, hopefully, hopefully not mosquitoes and um, have um the animals basically fertilizing the land so that's what they would be for rather than for eating i guess uh again because of you know carbon production of uh eating animals uh, having to feed them and eat them and then we have have big plantations outside so the idea here the trees provide the structure but also the shade so again the uh, it might not be ideal to have palms and the way i built this so if i show you the scene a little bit is that i created a blueprint for this and in fact we have uh, the option to have different um um treetops so um here what I, i'm not going to play with it because there's a lot of it a lot of them but uh, if i just type it here so we've got the uh, the trunk uh that kind of um scales down with the blueprint and then um so it's just to explore different types of uh, kind of scales we can have and these cables as well are a bit of a dirty blueprint um 
why well, I just kind of move them and but they uh, I need to change the end location as well and that's now not working quite well so that means they're sort of radiating but I guess that's also uh, an idea where you would be able to have these places these platforms where you can change directions and stuff like that so plenty to have fun with and the water looks pretty awesome um, it's kind of this um, shader that I bought off the marketplace and it's pretty incredible because it's kind of showing the bottom of the uh, pool here but there is nothing underneath so it's an optical illusion in here so and works pretty amazingly well it's a bit of fog um, exponential height fog I put everything in black and I um, changed the view distance because otherwise you get this sort of um, it's not so apparent now but when this uh, is blue originally you get a really strong uh, sort of typical old-school non non volumetric fog kicking in in the background so I like to have the fog go as far as possible I mean 10,000 kind of enough that's the main thing about the fog when I play around with it I play a lot with the extinction scale uh, obviously because the um, dense not the density the max opacity here doesn't sort of work other than just being zero so that's what you use with the old style fog but here uh, extinction scale um, and then obviously I play a lot with it and put it back to default at the end <laughs> So what else? Um, a old scanned motorbike from um, that I got from uh, Sketchfab, which is pretty uh, incredible in realism. Um, this is a a um, landscape I got from the marketplace as well. So this one is called uh, the Desert Landscape, and it's pretty cool. Um, so the idea here is that basically I've got these landscapes and um, try not to ramble on too long. Uh, I've got here a uh, landscape so that I can actually just sculpt pressing the shift key and I'm just sort of creating a pond here um, because I have, so back to select, a uh, plane underneath which is kind of all this swampy um, thing and then so I can just create a pond like that and then I've also got in the foliage these very simple um, couple of quick cell um, plants in here that I uh, imported using the um, uh, just opening a, a scene from the marketplace and here I just uh, paint these um, clovers that I've scaled up slightly Oh, I thought I had, but I haven't. There you go. And so to, to change the the edges a little bit, and that kind of works quite well because they're quite similar to these guys here. Um, and then so finally, yeah, just for the for the architecture, this idea of these uh, geodesic dome type structures, which are you know the lightest and the strongest, and it's got this sort of feel of something a little bit. Um, semi-nomadic I would say uh, it would be you'd probably kind of build these things and then maybe move on as the forest is sort of more established and then we could have you know different living um, at different heights which would be quite cool to be able to enjoy the views up here and then building some floors and dwelling spaces meeting spaces obviously uh, so we'd have more communal type spaces you know like uh, bars and restaurants and things um, in um, around maybe places where we'd have clearings so I need to figure out how to do that in blueprint and um, and then lots you know different areas and then obviously the big thing about the water so I need to try and open up that file to see, show you how it works but the idea would be to also use tidal power to pump the water up uh, I don't know you know the calculation how that would work but also we'd have uh, human power and exercise and sort of we could have you know a pedaling station to uh, so I'm trying to work out in terms of energy 
it looks like there's a lot of pedaling so i don't know how high these things could be uh, and whether it's viable to be doing that in you know places with no water at all um and but yeah so to build ginormous cities uh basically completely uh like forests that's i think eventually that would just be how we'd have to uh, consider um architecture um f for me it's it's been sort of fairly obvious for a, quite a long time so i look forward to um seeing what you guys think of it comments and um you know and then hey now you've got the idea uh, try your own you know do a, i'd be uh, super curious to uh, to see if you have um some ideas on that okay and i'll um i'll put something for download below so if there is a link please do click and like and subscribe and see you next time